Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel and to this week's video. Today we're going to look at a follow on from a previous video on pivot table calculations. This is an answer to a question on that video, which was once you've inserted your calculations, how can you take them out of your pivot tables again? If you haven't checked out our original pivot table calculations video, I'll link to it in the description below and there should be a card on screen right now. If you want to follow along, use the same file as we've used for that video, first adding your calculations and then following along with this video to remove them again. I'll once again link to the file in the description below. So coming on to the question, in this particular pivot table, what we've done is we've added in a row, this 2005 to 2009 row, and we've also added in a column. Now these are calculated automatically from your source data within the pivot table itself. But what happens if we don't want these calculations anymore and we want to remove them? It might not immediately be obvious, but what you need to do is come to your Pivot Table Analyze tab, come back to your field items and sets. Now, one thing to note is before you come to this, you'll need to click into your Pivot Table or onto the fields that you've actually added. If you don't, this calculated field or calculated item box will be greyed out. So once you've clicked onto what you want to remove, whether it's a field or an item, if we start with our field, click in, come to this little drop down list next to the name and what you'll see is you'll see those that you have added in previously. So you'll see we've added in a total electricity and electricity percentage of total. And say it's this electricity percentage that we want to remove, we simply click on that and then hit delete and when we hit OK you'll see that it's now vanished. You can do the exact same thing for the row. So again, this time it's a calculated item. We'll select our little drop down. You see the 2005, 2009 row here. And we can either modify our calculation or we can delete it. So if we hit delete and then click OK, it again has vanished. So that's how you can remove a previously added calculation within your pivot table. I hope that you found this video useful. Please do leave me a comment if you've got any further questions. Remember to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again in future.